TV 24 WDHO Toledo. WDHO TV 24 Toledo. Television 24 presents the late edition of First Team News with Bill Yeager. Don Seastead on weather, Jim Tishy on sports, and tonight, Cheryl Deutsch with the city's last offer, and Bill Seiler learns the big issue in Ohio is jobs. Good evening. Yesterday on Channel 24's news interview program on the... You're watching NBC 24. This is NBC 24 News at 6. Building a better station for you. This is WNWO Toledo. Now, Dan Lovett, Lisa Guyton, Bill Spencer with weather, and Jim Tishy on sports. This is NBC 24 News at 11. A storm that seemed to stall over northwest Ohio this morning has left Fostoria with its worst flooding in recent memory. Good evening, friends. I'm Dan Lovett. And I'm Lisa Guyton. Thanks for joining us tonight. Building a better station for you, this is WNWO Toledo. Now, Tom Bosco, Stephanie Roberts, Krista Quinn with weather, and Dan DeCrow on sports. This is NBC 24 News at 11. 9,000 General Motors workers will remain on the picket line tonight. Where news comes first, NBC 24 News at 11 starts now. My next move would be a cemetery. Yeah. Fighting fire. The city says they want her house for a fire station. Now she talks to NBC 24 as she fights for her home. Hen clipped. A Toledo mud hen busted during batting practice. This is NBC 24 News at 11. Good evening. I'm Jim Blue. And I'm Jennifer Stacy. Where news comes first. Jim Blue. Jennifer Stacy. Chief Meteorologist Bill Spencer. And Sports Director Jim Tishy. This is NBC 24 News at 11. Toledo-based Owens, Illinois is growing. Live from Toledo's fastest growing news station, you're watching NBC 24 at 5 with Jim Blue, Jennifer Stacy, Blizzard Bill Spencer with triple Doppler weather, and Hall of Fame broadcaster Jim Tishy with sports. NBC 24, Toledo's weather station. Live from Toledo's weather station, this is NBC 24 at 6. Hidden surveillance cameras seem to be just about everywhere in today's society. Toledo's weather station. NBC 24 News tonight starts now. Live from Toledo's fair, accurate, and honest news station, this is NBC 24 Today. Live from Toledo's fair, accurate, and honest news station, this is NBC 24 News at 6. We've tried politics, we've tried hearings. Now some folks are turning to prayer to lower gas prices. I'm Aaron Brobeck. We'll have the story coming up. I'm Rob Packard. Coming up, meet the only cat of its kind in the Midwest. You could almost call it bionic. The story in a moment. Record flooding. Families in the Midwest frantically trying to save their homes. This is NBC 24 News at 6 o'clock. Good evening. I'm Jennifer Taylor. This is NBC 24 News at 6. Live from Toledo's fair, accurate, and honest news station, this is NBC 24 News at 7. Hi there. Good Thursday morning. Glad you're with us here on WNWO Today. Good evening, this is NBC 24 News at 5 on Hubert Wiggins. You are watching NBC 24 News at 6 with Dane Murray, Ryan Cummings, and Kimberly Newman.
begin at 6 tonight with breaking news. A grand jury has decided not to recommend charges against officers involved. You're watching NBC 24 News at 6 with Ryan Cummings and Jamie Ennis. A woman in South Toledo makes a gruesome discovery. Police say she came across a body in a vacant home. You are watching NBC 24 News at 6 with Ryan Cummings, Jamie Ennis, and your weather authority forecast with meteorologist Kimberly Newman. This is NBC 24 News at 6. You're watching NBC 24 News at 6 with Jamie Innes, Ryan Cummings, and your weather authority forecast with meteorologist Jessica Van Meter. Live, this is NBC 24 News at 6. You're watching NBC 24 News at 6 with Kaylee Cunningham. And your weather authority forecast with meteorologist Chris Arbino. Live, this is NBC 24 News at 6. A heartbreaking update on the desperate search for... You are watching NBC 24 News at 6. Starting next week, our Fill the Bus campaign is back in action. You are watching NBC 24 News at 11 with Dane Murray, Ryan Cummings, and Kimberly Newman. This is NBC 24 News at 6. In a landmark decision today, the U.S. Supreme Court has protected LGBTQ citizens from being discriminated in the workplace. You're watching NBC 24 News at 6 with Jamie Innes, Aaron Leedy, and meteorologist Jessica Van Meter. Live, this is NBC 24 News at 6. New developments out of Washington. Right now at 11, a community demanding answers what led up to two Oregon officers being placed on administrative leave. The attractions around Northwest Ohio that will begin reopening starting this week. And when Michiganders will start seeing lower auto insurance rates, the legislation that will help drivers see them. Live, this is NBC 24 News at 11. Protesters gathered outside the Kingston Court Apartments in Oregon today. You're watching NBC 24 News at 11 with Jamie Innes, Aaron Leedy, and meteorologist Jessica Van Meter. Live, this is NBC 24 News at 11. You're watching NBC 24.